Good morning, everyone. It's time for today's episode of The Daily Stand-Up. Without any further ado, let's get started. My name's Lee Henson, president and founder of Agile Dad, and I received a question that shook me to the core. Here we go. The question is, straightforward, Agile Dad, comma, which cert is better, safe Scrum Master or certified Scrum Master? Ouch. You know, we had a recent episode where we talked about some of these non-specific certifications that have come up to try to peel people away from the proper certs. But what I can tell you is this is th- this brings a good question to the table because the safe scrum master and a certified scrum master are very very similar as far as uh what topics are going to be covered in the class as far as the learning objectives are concerned. Um I do also feel like the you know as a safe SPC that the first tier of safe the bottom tier is very much aligned with scrum so the fact that they have a safe scrum master and a safe product owner and a safe uh, you know safe agilist that that all of those things show you that there, there's definitely alignment between what scrum alliance has done and what safe has done i would almost say in some cases there's overlap however i feel like uh, so so here's here's the difference i guess and um, and specifically, I want to know which one looks better on a resume, and that's that's easy to answer. I'll answer that at the end. But which one is better in general? So here we go. So if you're going to have the Safe Scrum Master certification, if you're looking to work at a new opportunity that is utilizing Safe, and uh, they are rolling through and doing everything using Safe at the release level and at the enterprise level, and everything's going well, and they have all their uh, release train engineers, and they have their uh, all of their um, you know, ARTs, you know, set up and their PIs all outlined, you know, yeah, you know, being a safe scrum master and understanding how those different levels work and what you're trying to do and seeing things on a more global level uh, is quite possibly the better option. However, if you are working in an organization that is doing something safe, some things, you know, not safe, some things using other techniques, the CSM tends to cover more ground. So when it comes to the actual training, I think the safe scrum master is more uh, by the book, a more dogmatic approach to how you handle things. And it's very much, you know, it's prescriptive. It says you should handle things a certain way, which is both good and bad. If your team is an or organization is in the beginning stages and they're trying to get some structure, safe might be a great opportunity for you to get that structure. However, what I find is the organizations that are hitting high performing are the ones who are following more of the Scrum Alliance certified Scrum Master type uh, alignment, meaning there are a handful of learning objectives that serve as guidelines for the best effect of using the Scrum framework. However, they do recognize that Scrum is a framework. And when you recognize that Scrum is a framework, that's when you discover that you can make modifications and that you can make adjustments and you can pivot and you can do things to help you better understand how Scrum should be implemented within your company. So over time, what you'll discover is that the things you learn in a certified Scrum Master class are going to be more applicable as your team goes through forming, storming, norming, performing, as your organization goes through perfection, as they start to make uh, decisions regarding scaled approaches and things like that. You're going to find that the foundational Scrum Master course, CSM, is a better option. The other reason I prefer the CSM is because I feel like the CSM, there, there are only over, just over 200 certified Scrum trainers in the world, and I'm proud to be one of those. And I'm not speaking from the term of I'm one and they're not, but what I'm saying is those certified Scrum trainers tend to have a lot more experience when it comes to years of experience in the field and things that they've encountered. And, you know, they're even required to have, uh, you know, much stricter credentials in order to become a trainer. So I feel like if you get the right trainer, when it matches to you culturally and personally, that you have an opportunity to learn a lot more uh, evidence about how this is applied in a real world. And I think that you'll also discover that the trainers have a broader depth of application and stories and things that will help drive the point home. And they can usually share with you an example on just about any topic that you bring up. Uh, And it's not that every safe trainer can't do that, but the majority can't, where the majority of scrum trainers can. So, you know, they pointed out, they said the safe scrum master is way more expensive, but more expensive doesn't always mean better. This is true. You know, just like the cheapest one on the block doesn't always mean better either. 
But but what I found is you can't do it based on cost. You almost have to do this based on instructor when you're looking for which one you're going to get the most out of. If you have a world-class instructor with years of experience that has hundreds of recommendations, kind of like I do, then you'll end up with a really good class. If you have an instructor that doesn't have a large public following or a large public profile, you know, you're going to be getting information that's factual out of it, but I don't know you're going to take a whole lot more away than that. As far as which one's more industry recognized on a resume, no question, hands down, certified Scrum Master, CSM. Out of all the different ones, CSM, PSM, PMS, and I can go down the list with you, say Scrum Master, I mean, there's so many of them. The, the one that is recognized and the one that is requested more often than any other is CSM from the Scrum Alliance. And I think part of that is just because they know that that credential includes all the materials necessary in order for someone to say, hey, I get this and I understand all the basic logistics around this. So I'm going to be able to walk into your organization and I'll be able to make the adaptations necessary in order to match your culture and in order to match what you're trying to do so that we can implement Scrum together. As opposed to someone with an SSM that would come in and say, but this isn't what we learned in class. You know, uh, they, they tend to be a little more rigid. But, um, you know, overall, like I said, if you're looking for that rigidity in order to get things launched and kicked off, then SAFE could be a good option for you or your company. But if you're looking to get the best certification that's going to qualify you for the greatest opportunity to get the job, hands down, CSM is the way to go. So I hope this information was useful to you. As always, we encourage you to visit AgileDad.com where you can learn more about this topic or many others. And as always, we encourage you to stay healthy, stay well, and stay agile, my friends. Until next time, do take care.